Larger applications require a three-phase inverter, for example, to run the compressors in a large cooling system. The DC supply in this case will be a rectified three-phase AC supply. That means the three AC sine waves are combined together and pass through some diodes which prevent the electrons from flowing backwards. This turns it into a ripple DC waveform. We then use a capacitor to smooth the ripple out into a constant DC supply. Now we have covered this in great detail previously, do check that out, links down below. To turn the clean DC into a three-phase AC, we use a three-phase inverter. For this, we use six IGBTs. Again, I'll animate these as simple switches for simplicity, and I'll also number these as follows. To get our three phases, we need to open and close switches in pairs to direct the flow of current to form our supply and return paths. That way, the connected motor will experience alternating current. For the three-phase supply, we time the switches to simulate the three phases. Let's see how this works. First, we close switches 1 and 6. This will give us phase 1 to phase 2. Then we close switches 1 and 2. This will give us phase 1 to phase 3. Then we close switches 3 and 2. This will give us phase 2 and phase 3. Then we close switches 3 and 4. This will give us phase 2 and phase 1. Then we close switches 5 and 4. This will give us phase 3 and phase 1. Then we close switches 5 and 6, and this will give us phase 3 and phase 2. This cycle repeats again and again like so. If we check this with an oscilloscope, we now have a wave pattern that looks something like AC, except it's still a little bit square. This will work fine for some applications, but not all. So again, we need to use pulse width modulation to create the sine wave. So we're going to use the controller to rapidly open and close the switches to vary the output frequency and voltage, and that way we get our three-phase AC supply. Okay guys, that's it for this video, but to continue your learning, then check out one of the videos on screen now, and I'll catch you there for the next lesson. Don't forget to follow us on Facebook, Twitter, LinkedIn, Instagram, as well as theengineeringmindset.com.